A history of hard disk drives. I promise it's not a boring video. What better way to kick things off than to mention the very first hard disk drive ever invented, the IBM 305. So we thought about creating a new kind of electronic machine to keep business accounts up to date and make them available, not monthly nor even daily, but immediately. Such a machine would, for the first time, provide management with perpetually current business records. The 305 used magnetism to embed data onto a platter or physical magnetized disk that held the information. The cabinet that contained the drive measured approximately 150 by 170 by 75 centimeters, or roughly the size of two stand-up refrigerators. Inside were 50 disks, each measuring 61 centimeters in diameter, that spun at 1200 RPM. For reference, today's general hard drives typically rotate 7200 times per minute or 120 times per second. Total storage of the 305 was 5 million characters, equivalent to exactly 5 million bytes, or using the decimal system, 5 megabytes. To put that into perspective, that's about the size of a single high-resolution photograph. Perhaps the next noteworthy hard drive leap was IBM's 3330, also known as Merlin. This storage facility contained disk packs with whopping 200 megabyte capacities and up to 1.2 gigabytes per facility. The Merlin also introduced quote-unquote error coding correction, which among other things prevented the manifestation of disk errors as a result of physical imperfections on the platters. These advancements paved the way for larger drive capacities and cheaper consumer grade units. In 1980, IBM's 3380 became the first hard drive to ever reach the 1 gigabyte milestone. The 3380 contained two 1.26 gigabyte drives that were sandwiched inside of a refrigerator sized container. In the same year, the world's first 5 and a quarter inch hard disk drive, the size of a standard optical drive today, was released and named the ST 506 and given a price tag of 1500 US dollars, which, with inflation taken into consideration, is roughly 4350 US dollars today or 3900 euros or 3000 British pounds. You could build an immaculate PC with that sum of cash. And I should also note that the ST 506 only contained a whopping 5 5 megabytes of internal storage. It wasn't until 1997 that the first 3.5 inch hard drive emerged, a unit IBM dubbed the Titan. A single Death Star Titan drive had a capacity of 16.8 gigabytes and was the first drive to introduce GMR or giant magneto resistance. This discovery and thus implementation requires a bit of background knowledge on the hard drive functionality in general, but I'll save that for another video. Now nah, I'll go ahead and give it a shot. Hard disk drives essentially use magnetic fields to create domains, where all magnetization is oriented in a particular direction. The direction in which each domain is oriented, for example, north versus south, is indicative of a logical level, either 0 or 1. And if you're familiar at all with computer science, 0 and 1 are the basis of binary code, which nearly all information systems are reliant on today. A series of 1s and zeros can represent any given set of data, and giant magnetic resistance allows for specific magnetic sensors to more accurately detect the boundaries between two anti-parallel domains. Yeah, believe me, I had to do quite quite a bit of homework on that one. I've attached links in this video's description which detail the inner workings of hard drives and the theory behind GMR in much more detail, so no worries there. But let's get back to our timeline. In 2003, SATA, or Serial Advanced Technology Attachment, is first introduced and would soon become the prominent data transfer interface, ultimately replacing IDE, or Parallel ATA, the presence of which was made known by ribbon cables connecting motherboards to drives in older PCs. In the same year, IBM, the computer giant of the 1900s, sold its disk drive division to a company called Hitachi that you may be familiar with. In 2005, Hitachi went on to produce the world's first 500GB hard drive dubbed the GST, a lineup which would persist for quite some time. The following year, a company called Seagate you may have heard of, one up Hitachi with the world's first 750GB hard drive. And in this same year, Toshiba released the world's first 200GB 2.5 inch hard disk drive, and it's important to point out that the 2.5 inch drive is the most common form factor we see in laptops today. This Toshiba drive also took advantage of perpendicular recording, which allowed specific magnetic arrangements to be packed into much smaller spaces, meaning that platters of similar densities could now pack more information into the same equivalent space. Okay, here we go. The hard drive storage space war is on. In 2007, the first one terabyte hard drive was produced by Hitachi. In 2009, a company by the name of Western Digital, whom you're also likely familiar, invented the first two terabyte hard drive. In 2011, Seagate invents the world's first four terabyte hard drive. And in 2014, Seagate began selling the world's first eight terabyte hard drives, which you can still purchase to this day. And I'm quite certain that the storage war will only continue to intensify as time progresses. developed by IBM after a search that lasted five years. A 
a search that is not ended, nor will it be, so long as men need ever more powerful machines to extend the farthest reaches of the human mind. Let me know if you appreciate this first installment of the history series here on the channel by giving the video a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs down if you just hate everything about life. Be sure to check out the links in the video description to help explain in more detail what I was actually talking about in the video. Click the subscribe button if you haven't already and suggest future video topics in the comments as well. This is Science Studio. Thanks for learning with us.